Hey guys, this is gonna be a really quick one. It's like three in the morning, but I'm super excited. So here we go. This is the Realm. It was arguably the first graphical MMO made by Sierra back in 96. The engine they used was based off the King's Quest engine, so the gameplay was side-scrolling and had a lot of turn-based combat. It wasn't much, but we didn't know any better, so it was cool! The Realm happens to be my first MMO, and I started playing when I was in junior high school. So flash forward to last week when a fellow collector comes up to me about a collection that he just purchased. This collection included a large portion of Sierra Online's digital archive. So when I found out he had discs that contained source code for the realm, I got super excited and I had to buy them. After picking through some of these discs, it was pretty clear that it wasn't just the realm source code that was on here. E3 demos, unreleased assets, early versions of the game. I'm still not done going through all those files. However, there was a few things that I didn't recognize in a folder marked video. The Realm didn't actually include any full motion video, so I was curious as to what could be in this folder. Among some very rough 3D fly-throughs, there were two files that really caught my attention. What they ended up being blew my mind. These two trailers were for games that were never released by Sierra. One of which I'm showing you today, the other will come in a later video. This first game was called Phantom Hunters on In, which was clearly a working title. It's pretty clear when viewing this trailer that it was nowhere near finished. And some of the enemy models were actually taken from the realm itself. Anyone familiar with the realm will recognize the Banshee enemy model. In fact, Phantom Hunters on In features a number of similarities to the realm. Sprite work, like I said before, definitely has the same artistic style, fairly certain they're using some version of the realm's engine. In fact, the way that the character dialogue is broken out into a chat log really makes me think that they may have been pitching this game as an MMO, or at least showing executives what they could do with the engine besides MMOs. I've done a fair bit of research, and I'm pretty sure I'm not jumping to conclusions when I say this is the first time that this trailer has been seen outside of the walls of the now-defunct Sierra. So here it is, everyone. What I hope is the world premiere of Phantom Hunters on In by Sierra. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. I am pretty sure that at this point, no one actually owns the rights to this footage. However, if you are watching this video and you do believe that you are the IP holder, please, please, please reach out to me. Don't just pull this video. This is amazing Sierra history. I want people to see it and it deserves to be seen. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Wow, cool house. Well, it's a nice place to visit. But who'd want to live here? Not me, man. Hey, check out that suit of armor. Whoa! Oh, here comes one! <laughs> what kind of ghost was that? He looked pretty harmless. Probably a poltergeist. So how about Sylvia and I take the upstairs and you two take the downstairs? Okay, sounds good. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. You two look upstairs, and we'll search the wine cellar? Yeah, I think so. Uh-oh, look out. Ghost attack. <laughs> Some attack, tough guy. Let's get that little twerp. He went through the wine rack. Sometimes they hide secret passages. There might be something here. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of place is this? <laughs> Gotcha! Look! The chest! Check it out! Okay, sure. Wait a sec. Let me get into position. Oh, look! A diamond! Cool! 